What's going on guys, your boy Gamer Guy now here, bring you guys the AFC West ratings from Madden NFL 16. We already went over the AFC East, North, AFC, the trashy AFC South, now we're on the AFC West. Um, without further ado, let's get into the ratings. So first off, we had the Denver Broncos, 89 overall. Even with growing concerns about his arm string, there are a few quarterbacks better than Peyton Manning. 92 overall, new head coach Gary Kubiak, I don't know who that is. Should bring balance to the offense. Using halfback C.J. Anderson, 85 overall, and fullback James Casey, 80 overall, to establish the run. Demarius Thomas, 93 overall, and Emmanuel Sanders, 89 overall, return to the star wide receivers with Cody Latimer, 73 overall in the slot. Virgil Green, 82 overall, and Owen Daniels, 80 overall, with C. Thomas and Titan following the departure of Julius Thomas. That's a big, big hole right there. Left outside linebacker Von Miller, 97 overall middle linebacker Brandon Marshall, uh, 84 overall. How many Brandon Marshalls are there? And right outside linebacker Demarcus Ware, 83 overall. I'll return for first round pick. Right outside linebacker Shane Ray, 72 overall will push for playing time. Shane Ray, he came from Missouri, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he could have got drafted early, but he had some some issues. That's why his his draft stock kind of fell. Um, but anyways. Pro Bowl is Chris Harris Jr., 92 overall, and the key to lead 90 overall start at cornerback. The Broncos have a really, really, really nice defense and offense, man. Um, I think it just all falls on the, um, the coaching scheme at this point, um, in my opinion. And we got Von Miller, Brandon Marshall, DeMarcus Ware. Then you have a rookie that has potential Shane Ray just in case one of those linebackers to get into Shane Ray coming and filling for that void. So they got depth. They got depth. They got Chris Harris Jr., the key to lead starting at cornerbacks. They got a squad. You got Peyton Man in the Hall of Famer. You got CJ Anderson. And they got a Marys Thomas and Manny Sanders. And then well Peyton Man, you, your receivers are always, you know, good to go. It's kinda like Brady, man. Brady made some, you know, some sorry receivers look like some Hall of Fame receivers, you know what I mean? I would say Hall of Fame. They look pretty good, pretty good, you know, above average. But anyways. Um, I think the Broncos, their chance to get to the Super Bowl, I think it all falls on coaching. Um, cause they got the they got oh my god, they got the weapons. I wish my team had these weapons. They got the weapons. Um, on defense and offense, uh, I think it just all falls on the coaching at this point or whatnot. Besides all that, man, let's move on because new they have a new head coach, so it all depends on the coaching and the scheme. See how that works out. Moving on, number two on the list, we had the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs went an entire season without a touchdown reception from a wide receiver. I did not know that. Are you freaking serious? They went. <laughs> they they went a whole entire season. Without a touchdown reception from a wide receiver, oh my god, that is that's the that's absolutely horrible, terrible. I don't know what's worse than what what is more what's the word that's more that's worse more than terrible or horrible? Um, garbage. Um, that's just outrageous. That's crazy. That's 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 absolutely terrible. Newly acquired wide receiver Jeremy Macklin, 88 overall, Albert Wilson, 73 overall, and DeAnthony Thomas, 73 overall. Said not to change that. Tight end Travis Kelsey, 91 overall, is ready for a breakout year. Halfback Jamal Charles, 94 overall, and fullback Anthony Sherman. Ooh, excuse me, guys, I just woke up. Get this comment shot for you guys. You know, the boys on that grind. 94 overall are in the backfield with Alex Smith, 84 overall. New addition left guard. Band the girls, 85 overall right guard, Paul Fanaki, 74 overall, help anchor the offensive line. The emotional return of strong safety to Air Bear, 84 overall, improves the secondary immensely. He's joined by Sean Smith, 90 overall, Philip Gaines, 77 overall at corners. Left outside linebacker Justin Houston, who's a beast, and Tom Tomaha Lee, 90 overall, are man stay at linebackers. They argue and argue the best pass rush duo in football. Man, the Chiefs, the Chiefs, the Chiefs. Another team that has so many weapons on defense. Offensive-wise, you got Jamal Charles, you got Anthony Sherman, you got Travis Kelsey. You got your weapons there. And you got Jerry Macklin. You got your weapons. DeAnthony Thomas, I mean, the man came from Oregon. He was a freaking beast to kick return the special team. DeAnthony Thomas, give us some time, the man's going to turn to one of the best wideouts. Or at least that plays special team and wide receiver. And you got Alex Smith. Alex Smith still good, hello, still a good quarterback at that position. Um, I think right now the only thing that's stopping the Chiefs from the Super Bowl run, in my opinion, will have to be injuries. It will have to be the injuries. If everyone can stay healthy, then the Chiefs, there should be no problem the Chiefs should reach the Super Bowl. I mean, Jamal Charles with his injury prone, um, you, know, you never know how injuries are. Injuries can happen to anybody, but 
I think the only thing that's stopping the Chiefs from is the Super Bowl is, is the injuries. They can stay healthy all year. They can definitely reach that goal. If not, then the playoffs. San Diego Chargers. Ricky had back Melvin Gordon, who's not better than um, blah, 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 Todd Gurley, should, pr- should provide stability and power to the Chargers running game. Ex-Bronco left guard Orlando Franklin, 90 overall, will help the offensive line. Quarterback Phillip Rivers, 90 overall, may find his best targets in two tight end sets that feature Antonio Gates, 88 overall, and Darius Green, 78 overall. Five receivers include Keenan Allen, 86 overall, Malcolm Floyd, 83 overall, and Steven Johnson, 83 overall. Right in Corey Lugit, 84 overall, and I mean the bright spot in the front seven and the Chargers will need a big year from Elvin Ingram, 79 overall. The secondary is sparked by free safety Eric Weddle and cornerback Brandon Flowers. Now, the Chargers, uh, I like the Chargers. I like I like the how the Chargers seen them. They used to be a beast back in the day, um, like 09, 2010. I mean, in 2008, the Chargers were consecutively reaching the playoffs, man. They got slapped out by the Jets in 09. I don't know what the hell happened a year after that. But you got rookie wide receiver, rookie, excuse me, rookie halfback here, Melvin Gordon. He came, Melvin Gordon came from, let me see, Todd Gurley came from UGA. Melvin Gordon came from, um, damn, I can't, I can't believe, I watched college football, but I do not remember where Melvin Gordon came from. Damn, he came from, um, was it Auburn? No, it was Auburn. It wasn't Auburn. Um, screw it, why not look it up? Why not look it up, right? Why not look it up? Why not look it up, guys? Why not look it up? Melvin Gordon. Where he came from? Melvin Gordon came from Wisconsin. Is it Wisconsin? I know it's yes, Wisconsin, right? Yep, it was Wisconsin. Sorry, guys, my bad. Back to the topic here. Um, you got a running back, rookie running back, potential to have a breakout year. You got good ass offensive line. You got Phillip Rivers at lockdown quarterback. You got Tony Gates. Keenan Allen, Malcolm Floyd, Stevie Johnson. They have all the weapons in these guys, Tony O'Gate. You have all the weapons, the wide receiver, tight end, running back, and quarterback. And you have a good old line. You have a good old line. Then defensive-wise, they got a good um, – Corey Luka brings, you know, like I said, a little bit of pass rush to the front seven. You got Eric Willow, Brandon Flowers in the backfield. Now, the defense isn't the best, but that secondary should be good enough. Uh, but, you know, secondary won't be good enough without, you know, a front seven and some pass rush. Um, Chargers are definitely, definitely good. I think they can. The only thing that's keeping them from the Super Bowl, I would have to say, um, I would have to say it's injuries. I would have to go with injuries on here as well. I would have to go with injuries as well because Antonio Gates has his little injury prone from time to time. But I would have to say injuries. Um, besides all that, let's move on to the last but not least. Oakland Raiders second year quarterback Derek Carr 79 overall has a couple new targets and rookie wide receiver Mario Cooper and wide receiver Michael Crabtree Mm-hmm <laughs> Michael Crabtree that sounds familiar Fullback Marcel Reese 82 overall will block for halfback Latavius Murray 78 overall and Roy Hallou 77 overall tight end Michael River Rever- Rivera 75 overall will be pushed by rookie Clyde Welford 72 overall before the season is over Left outside linebacker Khalil Mack, 90 overall, is the star of the defense, and the other linebackers are solid with right outside linebacker Seal Moore, 80 overall, and middle linebacker Curtis Lockman. Who? Ex Falcon. Who? Ex Saints. Sir Curtis Lockman. Finally finds your new home. Right in, CJ Wilson, 74 overall, may lose his job to rookie Mario Wood Edwards, 70 overall, before long. Um, now, the Raiders, you got, well, Derek Carr, you have a pretty solid quarterback there. You have, you know, Amari Cooper. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, guys. Michael Crabtree is so so. He has this game, and you know, in other games, he plays like complete shit, to be honest. Mari Cooper I, um, came from Alabama. The man is a beast, in Alabama, but you never know how that transits to the NFL, so I really can't say much on a rookie wide receiver. But if he plays somewhat how Julio played his rookie season, and yeah, Kelvin Benjamin, um, he would definitely have a good year, man. Definitely help the Oakland Raiders out there. Um, Khalil Mack uh, definitely doing the thing on defense. They don't have really too many weapons on defense. So, I would say the only thing that's killing the Oakland Raiders right now is not enough talent from keeping Super Bowl. They're not going to make the playoffs this year, but this will definitely be, you know, a rebounding year. We'll see, probably see the Oakland Raiders do a little bit better than they did last year in terms of record-wise. But I would say the only thing that's killing them is talent and experience. That's the only two things I would say are killing the Raiders right now. Besides that, man, um, if I had a rank from first to second, I would say Broncos at first. 
Now this is tough. Broncos as the win the um AFC West Division. Now this is tough. The Chiefs and the Chargers. This is very very tough. Um, very very tough here. The Chiefs have a lot of weapons. Chargers have a lot of weapons. I would say, oh, this is very very tough here. The Chiefs got some weapons and the Chargers do as well. I would say, I would have to go with the um, I would have to go with the uh, I would have to go with the the. That's a tough one, man. They both are solid. Not even I'm talking about just real life. All right, yo, they're both solid. Um, I would have to say, I would have to go with the Chiefs, man. I would have to go with the Chiefs here. Um, you know, the Chiefs. I just feel like they have way. They, I mean, Chargers are good, but the Chiefs have way better defense than the Chargers. And I think that's what the Chargers. That's what they're gonna. That's what they're gonna fuck up at. I think the Chiefs are definitely, definitely gonna lock down the number two. Chargers at number three, Raiders at number four. Those are my ratings. Those are my rankings. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smack that like button. Be greatly appreciated for you, boys. Share this video out with a friend. Let your friends know. Um, besides that, man, thank you guys for the support. I'm out. Deuces.